Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today is going to be the February BoxyCharm unboxing, BoxyCharm by Ipsy. Um, I will be reviewing the products and letting you know a review after I apply the products. So if this is your type of content, feel free, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is my box. This is what my box looks like when I receive it in the mail. Um, it's a pretty big box. I wish they made the smaller boxes. I used to get the other box and it was a little bit smaller, but the products that I have, it doesn't seem like it should be in this big box. But anyway, let me go ahead and get these products out here. All right, so the first product that I have is the Wonder Beauty After Hours Illuminator Wondrous um, Glow. So this is a highlighter here. So this is what that looks like there. So it looks really pretty. It's really pretty, really shiny. I can't wait to try it here. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Okay, so that is the color there. So it's very bright. So I can't wait to test this out. And then the next thing that I did receive is Liquid Cosmic Blush. So this looks like a pretty color as well. Looks kind of like a pinkish, it looks like it's going to match my sweater here. So that's the color there. And then I did get a recovery treatment oil. This says it's Malin and Goetz. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, but this is a treatment oil. So I probably will be trying this in my skincare and let you know how it turns out, how it works for me. And then I did receive an Anastasia lipstick, which is the Rum Punch Matte Lipstick. So that is the color there. It's a really pretty color, but that's the color there. So I will be trying it out. It doesn't look like it's really gonna go with my shirt or anything like that, but I'll go ahead and put it on anyway and see what it looks like. So I did receive the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty, and I have the shade tan which is in 08 it's a luminous pressed powder so this is the color here that is what that looks like so we will be trying it out and see what it looks like on the skin so those are my products um so we'll go ahead and get started and as you can tell you can already see that i've already put on most of my makeup already i just put on my eyeshadow lashes foundation um, i still have yet to do you know set my under eyes and i was waiting for the video um, so we're going to go ahead in with the liquid blush. So again, it is liquid cosmic blush and this is in solar spin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and see what this looks like on my skin. It looks kind of bright. Probably don't need too much either. I'm kind of nervous to even put it on. You see that? These, these liquid blushes kind of make me nervous. I don't really use liquid blushes like that, but we're gonna try it out. Let me see what happens here. I'm just gonna take this little Amazon brush here and see. Okay, so it seems very kind of sheer. Uh, I'll build it up just a little bit more. I don't wanna look like a clown. Okay, so this is a buildable liquid blush. I like it. I can see my cheeks are a little red now. Blends in with my sweater perfectly almost. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next side here. Okay, I like it. It's pretty. Takes some getting used to, but I do like it. It's very pigmented. Um, it is buildable as well, so. Seems like I had to put more on the right side than the left side, but yeah, I like it. 
All right, so then we did that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face because again, I had already applied my makeup and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then I'll be back and we'll do the um, highlighter and we'll do the setting powder. And then I'll let you know the reviews from there. So I'll be right back. So I went ahead and set my face. I did go ahead and apply my bronzer. Um, being that the liquid blush is so pigmented, I didn't even have to use a regular blush. I mean, it's still showing through. So I'm not gonna put more blush on because I'm gonna end up looking like a clown. So this is some really good, some really good stuff right here. It's very pigmented. Um, so we will go ahead and apply the highlighter. So let's see what this does here. So again, I'm just taking my brush here, tapping off the excess, just applying it here. So I'm sure you can see that it looks really pretty, really glowy, really illuminating. So we'll do the next side as well. So you can tell it just blends right on in with the blush and the bronzer. It almost looks like a blush topper. It looks really pretty. And what I like to do with my highlighters is the excess that's left over on the brush, I just take it above my brow bone and just put it on there. And that's it. I know a lot of people used to do the nose and the chin and all that. I don't do all that, but I just keep it basic. So that's what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then we're going to use the press powder to uh, lock everything into place. So I'm just using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. Okay, so actually before I set the face with the powder, we do have the lipstick to try out too. Again, it's the Anastasia lipstick and this one is in Rum Punch and it's a matte lipstick. So I will have to go over it with the gloss. Hopefully this doesn't look too bad with my shirt, but we'll see. Okay, so it doesn't match, but I like the color. The color is pretty. So it's gonna be matte, so it's gonna set down here in just a moment, so I do have to find me a lip gloss to go over top. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the same Sparkling Rose Elf lip gloss that I used in my last video. So I'm just gonna to top this off. Okay, so it doesn't match my shirt, but I'm not worried about it. It looks pretty. I like the color. So that is the color on that. So we're just going to go ahead and set the face with the Huda Beauty Press Powder and see how the finish comes out here. Okay, so that is it. Um, I do like the powder, so I must say this powder, it's, it's, a, it's a match. This powder is a match on my skin. Um, again, this is in Tan 08, very nice powder, I like it. Um, I don't see any shine or anything to it as of yet. That could be because of the cameras and the lights and things like that, but it looks really nice on the skin. And then as far as this lipstick goes, I do like this. It actually feels moisturizing more than matte, but maybe it has to set down a few minutes for it to become matte, but I do like it. And then again, as far as the recovery treatment goes, I will implement this into my skincare and I will let you know how this works on my skin. And let's see here. As far as the blush goes, the blush is very pretty. I like it. It's very pigmented, it's very pretty, it's very powerful too. So you don't have to put a blush on, you know, once you put this on, you don't have to put blush on top of it. Just put your bronzer on and you're good to go because it's still, it's still shining through. So that's very nice as well. And then as far as the highlighter goes, I do like the highlighter, very pretty. I like this color, it leaves a lot of shine and you know, so. 
This is very pretty. So you will like this. You don't even need a lot. Um, you can even put this on top of your eyeshadow if you'd like. You know what, while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put this on top of my eyeshadow that I have currently. And see, see, see how pigmented that is? So like, yeah, you can just do that. Sometimes you can do that with highlighters and stuff. You can put that on top of your eyeshadow and it just makes it pop. So there's that. So you see the cheeks is matching with the eyes and everything like that. Okay, so this completes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Um, happy Black History Month to you guys. I hope you're celebrating and having a wonderful February. And as always, stay blessed.